It's one of those moments where I can finally confirm my spirituality logically again. If you've seen my channel over the years, the San Onofre Power Plants, as shown by the Groxt in his multiple channels, he has about five now because they all keep, you know, getting banned or whatever, he shows the San Onofre Power Plants is where the Stone of Daniel 2, the Star of Revelation 9, that's where it's going to hit. Comet, UFO, whatever it is, this is where it's hitting. It's at the 33 degree parallel, you see here. Um, and I've seen, I've actually showed the Groxt where it's hidden in films too. He showed a couple of things, you know, with League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, um, a couple other movies, but I saw the San Murphy Power Plants in Cloud Atlas, okay, which is about the devil in Tom Hanks's head, and there's a conspiracy about the nuclear power plants. 2012, that's basically what converted me, okay. Well, seeing the San Onofre power plants in Cloud Atlas within the first 10 minutes. And then I saw it in X-Files. And then I saw it in GTA 5. Okay? And then I saw it here and there. So, yeah, the Illuminati know about this, okay? And it represents the two breasts, the two, um, the two peaks, the twin peaks. <laughs> okay? It's all symbolic. And now, in my previous videos, I showed how the Earth is actually a grid. Karl Monk's The Code shows this stuff, Okay? He shows how, you know, Stonehenge has it has 60 uh, outer stones originally, and it's a 360-degree circle. 360 times 60 is 21,600. And, you know, when you multiply its position on Earth, 51 degrees, 42 minutes, 10 degrees, whatever, that multiplies to 21,600. So the way it's shaped explains its location on the spherical Earth, which, of course, debunks flat earthers, thank God waste of time so here's what i found out today i downloaded the x-files movie of course it was five bucks on itunes so i couldn't resist and i have an apple tv box so i just plug it into my tv and watch all my itunes movies um it, it has the san Onofre power plants like i knew but it made me want to explore again anyway long story short look at this the San Onofre power plant coast is at the 33 degree parallel of course like illuminati and Jesus's, you know, lifespan and all that stuff. 33, uh, 22, actually it should be, uh, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I moved the screen itself. So it should be right here. There we go. I titled it the code because it's 23, 2203. Because, look at it. It's two circles, okay? A circle is 360 degrees times 2, because there's two of them, equals 720. Okay, last step. What's the most important number in all of the code? Pi. Multiply 720 times pi. You get 2261.94671. Okay. On Google Earth, this coast is right here. You can see 332203 when I'm at the this point right here. Okay, so let's just divide it by 33. Divided by 22. Oh, you get 3.11. So look, <laughs> the San Onofre power plants grid latitude explains why it is where it is. 720, which is two circles times pi. 2261 is the grid latitude of the San Onofre power plants only because it's two circles and pi. Okay, so the Illuminati know that the Mayan pyramids do this, the Egyptian pyramids do this, Stonehenge does it, Easter Island, Easter Island does it, the pyramids in China and you know, all over the world. It's the same system. We're just told it's all separate. Who cares? They're just pretty to look at. No, they're, geometri they're geometrical codes. Okay. And this code right here, 332203 north, multiplies its actual grid longitude that we got from 720 times pi. That's it, y'all. That's my video. And if you want more of this stuff, just, you know, look at my channel or Google Carl Monk's The Code on YouTube, you know, to see those videos. Six hours, <clears throat> or actually five hours. Who cares? I am going to email Carl Monk about this, by the way. Like, I just discovered it, so I'm kind of excited. So, 
we'll see what he says because it, it takes a lot of explaining to do to say, well, why is the San Onofre power plant important? Well, because it's in Egyptian hieroglyphs. It's in the Sumerian tablets. Like, it's everywhere. And I'm actually going to make a video sh showing that. Which, of course, the Grox showed us. Um, so I'm just going to basically repeat his discoveries.